Hi guys and welcome to this video and today we're going to be um, doing a diagnosis and tutorial video on my Speedway 5. Um, basically the problem will be when basically you have uh, your rear wheel is functional like so and basically what will happen is is your front wheel will just kind of be shaking and unable to spin. Um, and basically the problem in most cases will be to do with your controller so you'll have controller failure for the front motors um, so the way to sort of check that is basically as the following um, so here are your controller cables um, and your motor cables so these bottom ones will be your motor cables and these will be your controller cables and obviously because you have a front and rear motor you have two sets like this um, and basically what you can do is you can actually swap the um, corresponding cable as around so you can plug for example this is how the setup should normally be so these would go for the front uh, I've labeled them F and these will be for the rear hence right now the rear motor is spinning and the front motor is not if uh, the normal case scenario when both of these are connected the front and rear motors should be spinning however at the moment we've got uh, I believe motor controller failure hence why when these are connected the front motor just shakes and the rear motor um, does continue to spin um, now to test if you have control motor controller failure what you can actually do is you can actually cross plug these so basically what you do is you plug the motor front motor cables to the controller the rear motor cables for the controller and that will that would mean it would basically reverse it so basically your rear motor would stop working and your front wheel would be able to continue spinning and that would be a diagnosis that basically um, you have controller failures for the cables of the rear uh, sorry the front and the um, motor and controller cables now that will be the diagnosis to check basically so if you swap them you can get the other wheel to basically spin um, and what you can do is because obviously um, if you've got two motors and you've got you've got dual wheel drive if for example you do need to use your scooter um, during the time that you're waiting for a new controller what you can do is you can actually uh, disengage uh, the front motor cables, front motor controller cables, like I've done here. Uh, make sure you use some shrink wrap because um, obviously you don't want the positive negative touching. And seal them up like this, and you can just basically run the rear motor. Now, you must um, obviously disconnect the controller motor cables if you want uh, the scooter to be able to function with just motor, one motor, uh, the rear motor as. Um, basically you'll get some resistance if you still have this motor um, if these cables front motor cables still attached um, because technically when they're attached the motor is kind of still functional so in order to allow it to spin freely you need to deactivate it by unplugging these two cables and then these two will be fine in which case you'll be able to use the rear motor just to run the scooter whilst you're waiting for your new controller so that will be the diagnosis um, in this uh, situation which is um, I've heard quite a common problem where the controllers um, basically have a, have a problem um, and basically yeah so if either of your uh, front motors or rear motors stop working we have to do is open up the scooter find the controller cables these thick cables um, not the thin ones just the thick ones and basically you can just butt plug them um, to test um, you know if it is actually um, motor controller failure in which case this is motor controller failure in this situation um, so basically you'll need to get a new uh, mini motors a new mini motors uh, controller like so so here's my new controller so what I will now do is I will unplug all of these 
from the controller side and reconnect them to the motor cables, in which case both wheels uh, will end up uh, spinning when I put this all back together. So hopefully that makes some sense. Um, just to go over the key points again, um, if any of your wheels are unable to spin and one of them is spinning and one of the other ones is shaking, you just have to open up the scooter, find your controller cables, the thick wires, um, and basically, uh, because obviously one of the wheels is working, that means that connection is fine. And then basically you just need to swap out um, the cables. So for example, front plug to the rears, and then that should basically reverse it. So the one that was not working would now be working, and the one that was working would now be not working. Um, and obviously, as I said before, you can obviously, um, if you do need to run your scooter because you've got dual motor drive, you need to inactivate, for example, in my case, the front, and you can just run the rear, and you can run it in the, as a single motor scooter, um, and that will be really handy until you get your controller. And you can fit your new controller. Uh, these are the battery wires, connectors. Um, but yeah, basically, you can run your, mo your scooter in a uh, single motor mode until you get your new scooter. As I said, you won't be able to run your scooter in, in a single motor mode unless you unplug um, either the front or rear, the one that is shaking, you won't be able to run your scooter um, unless one, unless until that um, the motor that's not working is inactivated like so. Um, so you can plug your new controller, plug your new controller like so, and then seeing as you've taken your scooter apart, it would be a good idea just to, you know, color code. So for example, you could use yellow for the front motor and uh, this sort of light lime, uh, this sort of turquoisey color for the rear motor. All right, that's it guys. So this is one of the common problems you get with uh, a Speedway 5 and some of the dual control, uh, dual tron um, scooters. Um, and this is usually the issue. So we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and diagnosis. I hope it can help some of you out there. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and a like and uh, please subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content. Thanks for watching.